given that humans have uh, really put a big pressure on the environment and all our planet's natural resources, there's kind of a new uh, impetus uh, uh, and a growing demand for non-consumptive use of our, of our planet's resources, renewable resources. Shark diving is this booming industry. It's growing globally. And what happens is that divers come into the water. They want to see sharks. They're normally elusive and relatively rare. Operators are using bait or attractant like chumming to bring the sharks in to view of divers. So the debate and controversy around shark diving is that although it has both economic and conservation benefit, people are also worried that one, it could pose a safety to, to bathers and water users where sharks learn to associate people with food and also that a change in the long-term behavior of sharks could have ecological consequences. There's been a surge of recent studies that have tried to try to understand this question about how human shark diving impacts the behaviors of sharks. However, they've occurred over relatively smaller time scales. This is the first study published to use satellite telemetry to explicitly look at the impacts of shark diving on tiger shark long range movements. In Florida, shark diving using bait is illegal and in the Bahamas it's highly practiced. So we went to these two spots, we satellite tagged a bunch of tiger sharks in each location and looked to see how they moved. So we expected that at Tiger Beach, at the ecotourism location where they're being fed, that those sharks would show more restricted movement and an activity space that kind of centered around that spot. In comparison, we thought that sharks tagged in Florida would have a relatively larger dispersal and show less sight attached movements than the sharks tagged in the Bahamas. But what we found uh, was exciting and not what we expected at all. One, that apparently the effects of this ecotourism had little impact on the behavior of the animals. But the surprising thing is we found out that the sharks moved significantly further than we ever anticipated. Some of those sharks quickly moved over 3,000 kilometers away and spent months at sea. The Florida sharks showed behaviors that are very similar to the, the, the tiger sharks from Tiger Beach. So they both made these long distance migration patterns following the Gulf Stream to areas of the Atlantic that have high productivity. Well, the Gulf Stream served as a, a prey aggregating device for these large tiger sharks that go out on feeding forays, basically one to build up the gonad and to service the juveniles before they go back and pump the animals uh, to the south. I think the take home message of this study is that Rather than uh, rushing to make conclusions based on fear, uh, we should actually do the science and make our policies based on fact and the data. And what we showed was that for tiger sharks in this area of the Bahamas, uh, the shark diving ecotourism that is taking place does not impact its long-term and large-scale movements and swimming behaviors.